happy Wednesday. Welcome back to the sewing room. I have my Jungle Tropics 8577 on today with a ready to wear faux or like mock neck, um, I don't know if this is turtleneck, but uh, it's from Next. Sorry, it took a long time to get to the basic black t-shirt basically. I love this dress, uh, you guys know, it's got the jam pockets. This is the cotton lawn. I believe they do this fabric in the canvas drill as well. Well, I know they do this fabric in the canvas drill because I've made a skirt and a bag, two bags out of it, and I have more to make some trousers with as well. But I would really like them to do this one on a viscose because I would like a floaty dress, like a, a, a um, yeah, a floaty dress in, in this one as well. I have enough left from cutting out this dress to, because I had five meters, I always buy five meters. I have enough to do a top, and I think a tie front shirt top, rather than the by hand London Anna top. Although I definitely have enough for that if I don't have enough for the shirt, so. That's awesome. I love this. I love this print so much. This is definitely kind of like a summery print, but I think like pairing it with all black, I get away with wearing it when it's chillier. So yeah, you'll just let me know what you think. I didn't put a cardigan on today because it was really warm in my room. It's really sunny today. My room is south facing that massively. That If the sun comes out, then it gets really hot in there really quickly. It also gets really cold in there really quickly if there isn't any sun. So it's one of those kinds of rooms. But um, yeah, I didn't put a cardigan on because mum was already down here and had started preheating the, uh, the uh, sewing studio. We're on 21 degrees, which is lovely. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I was going to start work on the magnolia dress because it's going to be part of the so recreate the look challenge which you have to have done by the end of march i've done a whole spread in my bullet journal for challenges and the whole point of that was so that i actually would meet the deadlines writing these things down so that i was fully aware ahead of time about deadlines and stuff like that and uh yeah, I've already missed one Black History Month pattern challenge by Natida. Uh, I am going to still make that pattern. I said this in yesterday's vlog. I am still going to make that pattern, but I was just too late for the challenge. But yes, I would like to get the So We Create the Look done. Having said all that, that was a lot of waffle just to say that I have not dressed appropriately for making muslins because I would need to take all of this off and I've got my hair up with this, this is really kind of like snug and it would just make a total mess of it. So I'm thinking maybe I should power through the Anna top and the 9000006 Vogue top today because they are both in the teal Cobra Corsage and you guys might be getting sick of seeing Anna tops but once this one's done then we're done for a while until the next round of cutting out. So I was thinking maybe Maybe I should do that way? Maybe I should do it that way? I don't know, what do you think? What do you think? I think that might be the way forward. Yeah. Although I'm still gonna have to try them on to show you guys at the end of the day what they look like, aren't I? So, hmm. No, I, th I think, yeah, I think what I'll do is do the two teal Cobra Corsage tops then we will see where we get to once they're done. Because I definitely want to do a standalone video for the magnolia dress as i have mentioned many many times this is the trouble when i i kind of waffle at you guys i kind of repeat myself day after day after day because this is how my brain works yeah i also want to do the 9076 sew along my voice isn't quite so croaky today so it might be a good day to maybe start it who knows who knows i will make some decisions and then start sewing Maybe I ought to sew up the circle skirt because that ought to start dropping on the bias and that would be quite a quick one to do, wouldn't it? Maybe I should do that first. Hmm, maybe I should do that. Because that, like I say, that does need to drop on the bias, so, and that's really quick because it's just a full circle skirt. I didn't do a panelled one this time, so it's just a front and two back panels and then the half circle skirt lining. Yeah, let's get that done. So we're going to do circle skirt, top, top. And then hopefully by the end of today, I'll have an outfit to show you. Ha ha! Awesome! That's a plan. A few inches later. I lost at Bob and Roulette by an inch and a quarter. Never mind. Okay, skirt is done. 
and I, I mean, really like it. It's a full circle skirt, so of course I do. I haven't hemmed it yet because it's a full circle skirt, so it's gonna drop on the bias. So I'm going to hang it up back there. I've got my little pinchy pinchy hanger. Hang that up back there, and then I will move on to the By Hand London and a top in the teal Cobra Corsage, which hopefully I can get finished today and show you the two of these together. I think it's gonna look really nice. Two hours later. And I have the final Anatop finished. This is the Teal Viscose and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this one. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but the bottom of that is doing many, many crazy things. So I'm very glad that I have got that made and hung up and dropping on the bias and doing, doing its crazy things. I'm gonna hem that next week, I think. I'm not gonna show you these ones on at the moment. I might do it tomorrow, but it's seven o'clock. I could stay down here and carry on, although I do have a lot of editing to do, as ever, I always have so much editing to do. So I might go up to my room and do that. But I will show you this with the skirt tomorrow, I think. I think that's the plan. Really pleased with how this has come out. This is a really beautiful fabric. As I say, I've got the 9006 and the 9076 to make out of this as well. One thing that I might get done this evening is sewing up the skirt of the 9076. Could do that, possibly maybe. I'll have a read of the 9006 instructions as well for the top and just see how much work is involved in getting that one done but I'm going to hang up this for now so I'll be back in a minute when I've decided what I'm going to do. So I've just had a look at the instructions for this and it looks like it's actually going to be the sleeves that are going to be the most time consuming part because they do have a continuous lap in them so I might get the body of this sewn up but that doesn't mean I need to change the thread on my machine because I have sewn this one with black thread because I was lining it with black cotton lawn. This one is unlined so I'm going to want to French seam everything. I would like matching thread for that so I'm going to go and have a look in my thread stash and see if I have anything that will match. I think I do. Two secs. Found the thread but I have decided that I'm going to call it a night for now and I will come back down and start work on the 9066 in the morning. But I am pleased with what I got done today. The whole outfit. Well apart from the hemming but like I say doing biasy things I'm going to let it do its biasy thing for about a week so I hope you enjoyed the little bit that I have managed to get done today and I will see you all tomorrow bye hey lovely peeps happy Friday welcome back to the sewing room I am looking very fluffy I've let my hair dry um air dry and uh yeah it's um it's giant and slightly wavy this is what makes me think the curly girl method might work for me but it is a lot of work and I don't know that I would want to put all that work in to getting curly hair but anyway never mind down here uh, as you can see are uh, the two things that I made on Wednesday are still hanging up back there the skirt is doing crazy things I will hem that next week next week the fabric I ordered from La Mazzi has arrived and it's been washed oh my goodness this is absolutely glorious it's a viscose crepe. I bought the last five and a half meters. I'm really sorry, peeps. I don't know if they're gonna get it back in stock. I'll try and link to the listing of this down below because they may get back, may get it back into stock. They do sometimes. I am so, so happy with this. I'm really glad that I bought it. I have no idea what I'm gonna make with it. Whilst it's kind of like a, it's not dark, like the Cobra Corsage bottle green, which I don't have a decent piece next anywhere near me. That kind of screams autumn winter to me, but this I think I could get away with in spring and summer. I don't know I think maybe it's the flowers on it that are just making it a bit like lighter because they are a lighter kind of flower really happy with this it's been washed so it's now going to get put into the stash lots more comments on whether I should be doing lemons and roses and it's about 50 50 guys it's not helping <laughs> definitely definitely not helping but I'm still going to work on some more cobra corsage I know some of you are sick of seeing cobra corsage sorry I still have, gosh, one, two, three, four, four projects still to sew up in, uh, five, five including the top that I'm gonna work on today, five projects to sew up in Cobra Corsage. And then I've got one, two, three, four more lengths of the fabric back there. So there will be a bit more Cobra Corsage in my future. I do appreciate that like seeing the same print over and over again might get a little bit boring. I just, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying kind of working my way through these fabrics because I've had some of these in my like this uh, visco uh, not sorry the crepe the Lena crepe the black one back there I've had that in my stash for five years now 
probably that long and it's just nice to finally get it sewn up. A lot of these fabrics I've had in my stash for a long time with kind of like ideas of what I want to do with them. Now I've kind of got the impetus to get them done so I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it so hopefully you guys will bear with me. The Lemon and Roses collection are going to be a lot more varied because neither of those are a specific print they're just kind of based around the motif the lemon motif or the rose motif so they will be more interesting they will be coming up but yeah i think you're just gonna have to bear with me for the rest of march whilst i get through my love of coke because because like i say i have five more projects cut out plus the three muslins that i need to do as well so i have got a lot to do so i'm gonna get this put back into the stash I think there's room for it. Then I am going to get on with the 9006 Vogue pattern in the teal viscose because I would really like to see how that top comes out. I think it's gonna be a really pretty one and I have a feeling that if I like it, as much as I think I'm going to like it, there will be many of those being made as well because the 6563 t-shirt is awesome but it is short sleeved and this one has different sleeve options which is, yeah, which is really good. So fabric away, getting on with some sewing. 2,000 years later. Okay, it's about half past eight now, so it's taken me quite a while to get this done. Probably, yeah, about four hours. I really like the outcome. Oh my gosh, putting this pattern together was an absolute nightmare. None of the notches met, met up. I will go back and like reassess because the, the width of the shoulder seams for did, for the back and the front didn't match up and it's not just this is all cut on the bias I haven't stretched anything out I got my pattern pieces out and I laid them on top of each other and the notches just aren't even aligned and it's yeah having said all that I love it I really really love it these sleeves I have added an extra and now I've added some extra width to them because I wanted to make sure that they were definitely going to fit me. How much extra width did I add? Two inches. So I've added two inches to the width of the sleeves and also two inches to the length and I'm really glad that I did. I personally, I really like big sleeves. We know this. I think without the extra two inches of width or length, they would have been really nice sleeves, but these are epic sleeves and I'm very, very happy with them. Like I say, the facing didn't fit in the back at all. So I've actually cut the facing out. I was really frustrated. <laughs> I cut the facing out and I have just used bias binding on the back. And you know what? I think I'm gonna do that for the next one of these that I make because I will make another one of these. I love this neckline. This is a, I, I, love, a, I love a cow neckline. I love a poofy sleeve. I've actually taken about four inches of length off of this top and I'm really glad that I did because this is there is still room around here. I, I think if I'd left the extra four inches on, I would have struggled to get it over my hips because I have such a difference between my waist and my hips. And I did slim it down at the waist to fit on my waist. And I'm glad that I did that as well because this definitely has shaping in it. As I say, this is all cut on the bias. There is another version of this top which has a the, the sleeveless version. It has a panel down the front. So the front is three panels and that's cut on the straight grain. So that is a very different top indeed. And while I like the idea of that I'm not sure how well that would fit me but yeah I'm really really pleased with this I did not enjoy making it at all I've added a couple of buttons to the cuffs there is a continuous lap in there we all know how I feel about those this fabric is gorgeous I am going to make some changes to it like I say the reason that I did the bias binding along the back neckline is because that is what is on my 6563 t-shirts and I really like how that looks so do you know what we all know how I feel about facings I'm not going to do that a facing on this one again I will just bias bind the back neckline I don't mind that line of visible stitching I've got visible stitching around the hem of this top and then also I have done a super narrow rolled hem on the edge of the facing piece this is a really deep facing yeah I, I like this a lot I do like this a lot I think this is going to be a really um, nice top and something that I do wear fairly frequently very glad that I adjusted the sleeves for my preferences as I say you may not want to add the extra length or width to the sleeves but I like a big sleeve we all know that and I can get ooh, always do that I can get my hands above my head and not be restricted which is something else that I very much enjoy and that's another reason that I enjoy really big sleeves. I did not enjoy the process of making this top 
one little bit I will make more of them <laughs> now that I have worked out all the kinks I will definitely make more of them and I am very glad that I cropped it because again I will probably never wear this untucked it will probably always be worn tucked into dresses no not dresses skirts skirts and trousers this is a new favorite I like this a lot I haven't shown you the Anna top or the skirt yet have I I know you've seen the Anna top in the other two colors but I've made it so let's have a quick look at that shall we so another Anna top really really like this and I have on the circle skirt let's see if you can see how crazy the hem's got got my lovely socks on as well from Mary yep skirt be crazy I have done a full circle skirt with this one and I have done it in a single front piece and then two back pieces usually well not usually but if I had a seriously directional print I would have done a five panel circle skirt because that way you can kind of keep all of the print the right way up or majority of it the right way up I've also lined this with a half circle skirt in plain black viscose because I have explained I don't really like the feeling of polyester next to my skin which this Lena crepe is I've got a layer of viscose next to my skin which feels much much nicer I don't know if I like these two colors together you know because I think the reason that I don't is because they've shifted the colors on the teal so that the snakes and the bugs are all a lot more purpley pink leaning and then with the original the noir they are all kind of the snakes are blue and like the the royal the, the the butterflies are red and things so I'm not quite sure that the tones of these two work together although if I had a big belt on it could work possibly I really like both these things I'm very happy that both of these things are now done so I'm gonna hang this skirt back up so that it can finish doing its biasy thing I will hem this next week then I am gonna call it a night because now eight minutes to nine <laughs> i hope you've enjoyed the little bit i filmed over the last couple of days i will be back on sunday for a live hangout so you'll be seeing that tomorrow because you should be seeing this on saturday we shall see <laughs> fingers crossed i get all the editing done but yeah i hope you've enjoyed the last couple of days i hope you've enjoyed a little bit of more cobra corsage and i'll see you all later bye